Hello there, welcome to this video. In today's video we will discuss what do you mean by market size of a digital product and how to identify it. Feel free to like and share this video in your network and help others to learn and grow. So, have a look, what we will be taking away from this videos. Firstly, we will look into what is market size of a digital product. Secondly, we will deep into some of the importance of finding market size. Then step down with components of market size of a digital product. Fourthly, steps to identify the market size. Then, steps to use cases. And lastly, we will sum up with conclusion. So without further ado, let me deep you to the today's video. What is market size of a digital product? The market size of a digital product refers to the total potential revenue that can be generated by the product in a specific market. This market can be defined by various factors such as geographic region, industry, or target audience. The size of the market can be estimated by analyzing data on the total number of potential customers, the demand for similar products, and the pricing strategy. In the case of a digital product, such as a software application or a digital service, the market size can be estimated by considering factors such as the number of potential users, the pricing strategy, the competition, and the overall demand for the product. It is important to note that the market size of a digital product can vary depending on the specific market segment being targeted and the unique features of the product itself. Market size estimation is an important step in the product development process as it helps businesses identify potential revenue opportunities, determine pricing strategies, and make informed decisions about product features and marketing efforts. efforts. Importance of finding market size of a digital product Finding the market size of a digital product is important for several reasons. Identifying revenue potential, by understanding the size of the market, businesses can estimate the potential revenue they can generate from the product. This information is critical in determining the viability of a product and making informed decisions about the product's development and marketing. Understanding market demand, estimating the market size helps businesses to determine the demand for their product in the market. This information can be used to determine if there is a need for the product and if it can be successful in the market. Identifying target audience By analyzing the market size, businesses can identify their target audience and develop marketing strategies that are tailored to the specific needs and preferences of this audience. Assessing competition Understanding the market size also helps businesses to assess the competition in the market. By analyzing the number of competitors, their market share, and their pricing strategy, businesses can make informed decisions about how to position their product in the market and differentiate it from competitors. Setting pricing strategy, market size estimation can help businesses to set a pricing strategy that is competitive and profitable. By understanding the demand for their product and the pricing strategy of competitors, businesses can determine the optimal price point for their product. In summary, finding the market size of a digital product is crucial for businesses to develop a successful product and marketing strategy that will help them achieve their revenue and growth goals. Compo components of market size of a digital product The market size of a digital product is determined by several components that include Target market The market size of a digital product depends on the number of potential customers in the target market. The target market can be defined by geographic region, industry, demographics, or other factors. Total addressable market, TAM TAM is the total market demand for a product or service. It is the entire market segment that can potentially be served by a product. The TAM provides an estimate of the maximum revenue potential of a product. Serviceable available market, SAM SAM is the segment of the TAM that a company can realistically target and serve. It represents the market size that is within the company's reach, taking into account factors such as market penetration, product pricing, and distribution channels. Market share Market share is the percentage of the total market that a company or product can capture. It is calculated by dividing the company's revenue by the total revenue of the market. Competition The size of the market for a digital product depends on the number and strength of competitors in the market. 
Analyzing the competition helps businesses to estimate the potential market size, identify gaps in the market, and develop strategies to differentiate their product from competitors. Pricing strategy Pricing strategy is an essential component of the market size of a digital product. The price point can affect the number of customers that will purchase the product, the revenue generated, and the market share. In summary, the components of market size of a digital product include the target market, TAM, SAM, market share, competition, and pricing strategy. Estimating these components helps businesses to determine the potential revenue, target audience, and competition in the market, and develop a pricing strategy that is competitive and profitable. Step Steps to identify the market size of a digital product. Here are the general steps to identify the market size of a digital product. Define the target market, determine the geographic region, industry, demographics, or other factors that define the target market for the digital product. Research the total addressable market, TAM estimate the total market demand for the product or service. This can be done by analyzing data from industry reports, government statistics, or market research surveys. Calculate the serviceable available market, SAM estimate the portion of the TAM that the company can realistically target and serve. Consider factors such as market penetration, pricing, and distribution channels. Analyze competition, identify the competitors in the market and evaluate their market share, pricing strategy, and other relevant factors that may affect the market size. Estimate the market share, determine the percentage of the market that the company can capture. This can be calculated based on the SAM and the competition in the market. Determine the pricing strategy, set a pricing strategy that is competitive and profitable based on the market demand, competition, and product differentiation. Monitor and adjust, continuously monitor the market to assess changes in demand, competition, and pricing, and adjust the marketing strategy as necessary to stay competitive and meet revenue goals. By following these steps, businesses can estimate the market size of their digital product, identify revenue opportunities, and develop a marketing strategy that is tailored to the specific needs and preferences of the target audience. Use case cases of the market size of a digital product. Here are some examples of how market size estimation of a digital product can be used. Product development, estimating the market size of a digital product is crucial in the product development phase. By identifying the target audience and understanding the demand for the product, businesses can develop a product that meets the needs and preferences of the customers. Marketing strategy, market size estimation helps businesses to develop a marketing strategy that is tailored to the target audience. By understanding the competition, market share, and pricing strategy, businesses can develop a marketing plan that differentiates their product and reaches potential customers effectively. Investment decision-making, estimating the market size of a digital product is critical in making informed investment decisions. Investors use market size estimates to evaluate the potential return on investment and make decisions about whether to invest in the product or not. Expansion planning, market size estimation helps businesses to plan for expansion and growth. By understanding the potential revenue and demand for the product, businesses can identify new market opportunities and plan for expansion into new regions or industries. Risk assessment, market size estimation helps businesses to assess the risks associated with entering a new market or launching a new product. By analyzing the competition and market demand, businesses can identify potential risks and develop strategies to mitigate them. In summary, the market size estimation of a digital product can be used in various areas, including product development, marketing strategy, investment decision-making, expansion planning, and risk assessment. By understanding the market demand, competition, and pricing strategy, businesses can make informed decisions that help them achieve their revenue and growth goals. Conclusion in conclusion, estimating the market size of a digital product is critical for businesses to develop a product that meets the needs and preferences of the target audience, plan a marketing strategy that reaches potential customers effectively, make informed investment decisions, plan for expansion and growth, and assess risks associated with entering a new market or launching a new product. By analyzing components such as the target market, TAM, SAM, market share, competition, and pricing strategy, businesses can estimate the potential revenue and identify new market opportunities that help them achieve their revenue and growth goals. 
Hope you find this video valuable, feel free to like, share and subscribe this channel. Your single, like on this video, keeps us motivated to bring more valuable content like this. Thank you for your support. See you in the next video. Till then keep learning, keep growing.